Hey everybody, I'm back. It's time for our third video of the day. Um, to, this one is going to feature the beautiful Magnolia Lane suite of products. I know that you have probably seen it already. It has been um, hugely popular in the pre-order when demonstrators get to order um, things from the catalog early. I've seen tons of it and of course I had to spend some time with it myself. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, all right, good. I see you guys jumping on. Let's make sure I'm in the right place. I always have to make sure I don't want to be in the wrong place. Okay, yes. Ooh, and I can hear myself. Don't you guys hate it when you hear your your voice? I don't know what it is about that. Okay, so if you haven't had not, let's see if I can talk today. If you had not joined me in the two previous videos I did today, I did one at 10 and one at noon, uh, make sure you scroll back through my um, Facebook group here. Um, also over on my blog, I did three projects already today, and this will be number four. Um, the new catalog went live this morning. It was earlier than we thought. Um, it wasn't supposed to be the, till this afternoon, and uh, lucky us, they got it all up and ready early. So um, you can jump on to stampinup.com now and see all the products. I have also linked the PDF to the catalog in case you don't have a catalog. I've linked it also on my blog and in the previous videos, I'll add it here too. Um, so if you wanna actually scroll through it, it's quite a big PDF as you can see, let's see, 212 pages. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator and you want a hard copy, just let me know and I will mail you one. I'll be happy to send you one. All right, so Magnolia Lane, here it is, page 36. 37 and 38 of the new annual catalog. It is um, just really pretty. It's very classic. I just, it reminds me, I am originally from Memphis. It's where my parents live. And it reminds me of Memphis. There was a giant magnolia tree across the street from my grandmother's house. Um, we always talked about the magnolias, trees, pointed them out. We don't really have many here in South Texas, but it really reminds me of Memphis. Um, and I'm sure some of you have ma magnolias in your yard and where near where you live. So I am sure this is going to appeal to everyone. What's really exciting are these 3D flowers, and I'm gonna show you how to make one. Um, and then I just wanna show you some of the, the little bits and pieces. One thing I haven't pointed out in the catalog, this year they've got this new thing. If you want everything in the suite, the stamps, the framelits, the embossing folder, the paper, all of it, all of the products, they actually have one number here that you can use. And you can just, instead of having to key in all nine things, you can add in this one number and boom, it's all added to your cart. So that's kind of a really neat um, thing that they've added to our catalog. Okay, so that's where it is. Here's a really neat little 3D thing idea for you too, after I show you how to make those um, flowers and that'll kind of give you an idea of um, some things that you can do with them. All right, so let's look at the paper first. The paper is stunning. Um, it's old olive and uh, this is petal pink. Those are the main colors. And the framelits, of course, have a die that will cut out these, the little buds. So there's a stamp and it also cuts out the paper. We always love when it will cut out pieces of the paper. Um, so here is this side. I, I really like this one, the stripes. I'm always drawn to stripes and polka dots. And then here are the other sides. This reminds me similar to the coffee paper we had a few years ago. If you loved that paper like me, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's the paper. They come in 12 by 12. You get a sh two sheets of each pattern. And as I told you here, the framelits and the stamp set is a double set because this guy is so big. You can see how big he is. Um, and then you've got several sentiments. And you've got a little flourish here, the little bud, um, some leaves or a leaf. Um, but the, the framelits have a whole lot more. I'm gonna show you how to make, you're gonna use these three, one, two, three, to make those, um, 3D flowers, okay? Oh, in the centers right here too. And you've got the leaves. I use this, I'll show you in a minute where I use that. There is also memory and more cards right here. 
And Memory and More cards are designed with uh, simple scrapbooking in mind, kind of like the pocket pages, but it's not the only thing. You can make cards with these. You can make all kinds of things. You can even use them for tags on a gift. Wouldn't that make a great tag? Oh, Charlie has to come in here and scratch. <laughs> Charlie says hello. Um, but you can see, and I like they've really brought in the yellow a lot more in the Memories and More cards. I used a few of these to make some of the cards for my display at my um, BOGO event on Saturday. And the, the cards also have some really good little elements too, especially for scrapbooking, but also for other, um, you know, projects. Stickers and little words, little borders, just all kinds of things. There's some vellum pieces in here. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, so that's the card pack. Let's move that out of the way. There is also, and I want to make sure I get all the names right, so let me make sure I look and use the right names. There is these envelopes right here. Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So they come in this packet and you have all these cards that look like this. And then you have the envelopes with the envelope liner that you can put in. And they're the perfect size. Well, I haven't attached it, so of course it's acting wonky. Um, you can attach these Memories and More Cards as the card base, see? And then you can just make all kinds of cards like that, you could decorate it, and then they fit in these envelopes perfectly. Brilliant, love it. Makes card making easy. You can sit down for an hour or two hours and just make a whole bunch of cards. Now there's ribbon that goes with it, and look how much I have left. <laughs> I have just enough of this to do our project today. Um, it comes in a combo pack. I really like this ribbon. It reminds me of our woven texture ribbon that we have in three colors. Um, now it's in this skinnier, uh, it's like, um, well, it's got a white edge and kind of a light linen color in the middle. It's, it ties nicely, it's a nice weight. And then the other part in the combo pack is this linen thread, which I, I believe is Mossy Meadow. All right, then, oh, did I not grab the cork? Where did I put them? The cork, there's these little um, cork embellishments, oh here they are, that go, let's see, I have a new pack, I've used almost all of them, um, and when we were at on stage, my team and I, we were talking and, and everybody was like, I don't know how I feel about those, I love them. You get all these leaves in these little magnolia flowers and also the tag, and I'll point them out as I've used them so you can see, they're really neat, very, very different and unique embellishments. All right, let's see, what am I missing? What have I not showed you? The embossing folder, because I don't have it. There is an embossing folder. And then they've got new stamp and blend, so saffron, to coordinate with the paper. Yay. All right, let's look at some projects. All right, if you're in my stamp club to go, close your eyes, because I'm gonna show you the Smuts projects, okay? Here is our scrapbook page. And you can see how I use those cork embellishments right there. And we're gonna make a flower just like this in a minute. And then up here, I use that the tag cork embellishment right here. And I added one of those little cut, let's see this flower, this die cut behind it. And there's that fun ribbon. And here's the card option. Pretty, isn't it? Ooh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And I'm gonna save this big one for last because it's the piece de resistance. Here is one. Now, I will say, full disclosure, many of these were cased either from the catalog or for, from Pinterest. And I honestly don't even remember which ones were cased and <laughs> which ones I created. So I'm not going to claim any of them. Uh, oh, and some were swaps too. So here's this one, and I know I did not make this one. This one was a swap from my team. This one was a swap also. Look at all those beautiful layers. She embossed that. Wow, so pretty. Let's see, let me open it, because it's like fancy. Is this Heather? Heather, are you watching? This might have been Heather's. Look at that. And that goes right behind there. Very nice. Um, here's one that I did, I cased from the catalog. And I'm gonna tell you guys a funny. Uh, when I was trying to make these, 
it was late at night and I was trying to hurry and I thought, oh, I'll just get my chalk marker and color that in with a chalk marker. Well, it didn't do very well. <laughs> Don't use a chalk marker. It kind of tears it up. And I realized later that you can use your um, white watercolor pencil. You can use our white craft ink, put it on a block and watercolor with it. Don't use a craft marker. Of course, I would choose the hardest you know, most difficult way to make this card. But anyways, <laughs> um, I almost did this as our project today, but I thought, no, I won't. Um, but this is one of those pre-made cards that come in that packet. Um, here's one that I made. This was going to be a project that I didn't end up using for something else. This is from that Strong and Beautiful stamp set. And there are those cork embellishments and some of the die cut flowers. Here's one. I know I cased this from somewhere. Isn't that pretty? It has this this um, this die right here is really neat. It makes that edge on your paper, which is super fancy. I love that. Hi everybody! Thanks for jumping on. Um, yeah, if you want that whole suite, you can just enter that number at the top and get the whole thing. That the ribbon, by the way, the combo pack was on low inventory when I ordered it just a little while ago for somebody. And it may even be on back order now. So if you want it, you need to order it ASAP. All right, here is a card with one of these 3D flowers. Here is a card where I colored the flower, stamped it and colored it with blends, stamp and blends. There's that fun paper. Here's a card where I used one of the Memories and More cards as the background. Pretty, pretty. And here's one where I stamped the magnolia on um, the petal pink cardstock and one of the stickers and this is one of the stickers also and these are all stickers if I remember correctly all of those are stickers from the memories and more pack now Stampin' Up! has a video on this project that I will share with you guys it's one of our pizza boxes and they stamped the big flower with the leaves and just colored the leaves and then made the 3d flower and put it down there in the middle which was beautiful Here's a project I just made trying something out. Clipped that little tag on like that. Here's some of our new ribbon, but unfortunately it's on back order already. And then you can see here that fancy edge. And I have this clipped on with a retired clip, but that's all right, still cute. Then we made a little box here with a lid and one of the 3D flowers. Very cute, very cute, okay. So those are all the, pro oh wait, no, no, not all. Hold on, here's a 3D flower for you. We'll make that in just a minute. Okay, here's the big one that I made that I'm gonna hang on my wall after today. I saw something online similar and then I saw that in the catalog and I said, I've got to make something 3D to hang on the wall. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I was just looking for like a square, you know, they, Hobby Lobby has an aisle where they have like this rustic wood and I was looking over there um, for a, just kind of a square piece with the, the boards. And I saw this in the home decor area. And so I thought I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you the back cause I know you'll ask. This is, it was in the spring decor, $13.99, 40% off. Mm-hmm, pretty cheap. But you could do this, if you can't find this wooden heart, I mean, you could do this with anything. You could make your own little slatted, you know, board thing, a frame, whatever. This is just a dry, you know, from the dried flower area, a branch. And then you just make the little flowers and add a bow and you have something. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So these little flowers are different sizes. We'll make those. I'll show you how to make one. Stampin' Up! has a great video on how to make the, them. And after I show you how to make the flower, I'll make our project, which is one of these, which is the little goodies I gave out on Saturday, okay? So don't leave, don't leave after I make the flower because you'll miss the actual project. Okay, so now there's gonna be lots of ways to make these flowers. And I'm just gonna show you how Stampin' Up! did it in their video, because I thought it was great. And there are, I pointed out the dies that are in the set. We've got these three, and I don't know if you need all three. You could go with maybe two of them, depending on the size you wanna make, however many you wanna make. I cut out two of each. 
I sat and watched Netflix one night just making a bunch of these flowers. So you cut out two of each and you're gonna take your bone folder, hopefully that ink is long dried, and you're going to, or we're gonna have a pink magnolia. You're just gonna carefully curl these. This is just regular white cardstock. Like that. And in the video that Stampin' Up! did, they took a Stampin' Dauber and put so saffron ink from the middle up to make the middle parts a little bit yellow, but we're not going to do that. All right, I'm just going to take this and with a little glue, I'm going to start with the bigger ones. And I think there was probably lots of kinds of flowers you could make with these petals. There's also a new punch that's very similar to this. And before I put these in, I'm gonna kinda curl them up a little bit so they'll sit up a little bit, you know, so that it's kind of in various forms of petal curling. <laughs> I'm sure it's an official term, petal curling, like that. Okay, so there we've got that. And then you can cut out the little starburst in, um, so saffron would probably probably be better, but I did it in Daffodil Delight. Now you guys tell me, is there such a thing as a pink magnolia? I actually have a piece of art on my wall that I bought recently at a craft fair that is a, pink magnolia and she said oh you're buying the pink magnolia and I thought now is this just a magnolia that's been colored pink or are there such is there really such a thing as pink magnolia do you guys know all right so there's the flower now what if we want to make it bigger well let me show you you're going to take your hot air balloon punch and punch six hot air balloons all right six and a circle Really, the circle could be any size, two inch, one and a half. Yes, yes, you're telling me yes to pink magnolias? All right, I put that down there so it'll stick and not move, and then we'll be able to peel it off. So let's roll these very light pink magnolia. So I have a magnolia tree in my neighborhood. It's very small because I don't really think they grow well here. And recently, I, when I was walking by, I took some pictures of it because as the leaves were, as the flowers had passed their peak, they were curling up in, into kind of a light pink color, you know, like um, around the edges. So I don't know if that's just maybe what she was referring to. And we're going to color the edges of this magnolia pink too because that's what I've seen it colored. I don't know, you guys, I'm not an expert. What are you guys saying, pink? There really are, Kim, Kimberly, really? You just Googled it. Okay, good, and Crystal, yes, and oh, all right. Well, good, then there really are pink magnolias. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put that Tombow there. I'm gonna start at the top and, and adhere these. Let's see. The thing with a liquid glue is that then you can adjust them to go how you want. Okay. And it's staying in place because we just stuck it to the silicone sheet. And yes, the silicone sheets are available. We do sell these. And you can see I have used mine for a million kinds of things. All right, so now we've got that bigger part and we'll put the middle, the little part in there. And ta-da! and we can peel it right off the back. It's not quite dry yet, but there we go. We have a larger magnolia. Now, if you look at this one, I put a gold, one of our gold faceted gems in the middle, and I inked it with that so saffron on the edges and in from the outside like that, just taking it and inking it with a dauber. And there's the difference. Very pretty, right? All right. So that's how you make a 3D flower, one of the ways, one of the countless ways, I'm sure. 
Now let's make our project. This will be the fourth and final make and take that I'm giving for free with any order using this host code between now and Monday night. The order needs to be minimum $30. If your order is over 150, you don't have to use the host code. I'll still send you the projects because 150 is that magic number where you get host rewards. Um, so you are welcome to claim those host rewards and I will still send you the make and takes. Um, and so Monday by midnight, any order over $30, we'll get, and I'll show you the other three when we're done, we'll get this plus the other three. So I made these little, little, I don't know, are they bags? Are they gift boxes? They don't have a lid. I made these for Saturday's catalog kickoff, and I know you're asking me, what's inside? Well, I put chocolate and a spot, stamp and spot, and some of our new in-color ribbon as just a thank you for those that came. But you could do anything, anything can go in there, okay? All right, so you're gonna cut one of those beautiful pieces of designer series paper, six by six, so you can get four of these out of one sheet. And you're gonna score one side at two and a fourth. Don't push too hard on your DSP, you'll tear it. And three and three fourths. And then one and a half, on the other side, one and a half and four and a half, okay? Very simple measurements. And I, this will all be on my blog. After the video, I will sit down and post the video. Oh my goodness, I think I just might have heard thunder. We have some rain moving in the area. It was sunny when I started this this morning and now it's kind of dark and gloomy. All right, use your bone folder to get a nice and crisp fold. Then we're gonna cut these right here. It's hard to see when the paper's really busy, but cut those score lines. These make great little table favors. If you have an event, a party or something, and you need little, little treats to put at their table, you can get a lot of these out of a package of paper. And um, they're not terribly big, so you don't have to put too much in them. Now don't use snail on your bag or it'll fall apart. You need to use tear and tape. Tombow works good if you like liquid glue. Um, or what I'm using is our retired fast fuse. If you have fast fuse left, it'll work. All right, so you're just gonna fold those sides in like that. And there's your little bag. And I just put some of this, um, shreddy, shredded, what do you call it, shreddy in here, like that. All right, and you know, you have how many different patterns? Uh, 12 different patterns, so you could, your bags could all look different. All right, let's make the little tag. I am going to, whoops, I did not get a piece of white. Let me grab my piece of white. I'm gonna stamp this in Memento. I have stamped a two inch circle in white, and then I stamped a, or I punched a petal pink starburst circle. Those are both punches, and we're gonna layer those up in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna use Old Olive, and because I was making a lot of them, I didn't get real fancy with my shading. I also am making a whole bunch of these for my Stamp Club projects. So I'm not gonna get terribly fancy with the coloring. I'm just gonna use light old olive, and I'm gonna use dark crumb cake for the stem. And then I'm just gonna take the petal pink to kind of show that, that little browning edge as it starts to kind of fade just around the outside edge like that, and maybe just a little bit on the inside of that petal. Okay, so just like that. And then we're gonna get the framelit that cuts this one out. And we're gonna cut it out, or I should say die. It's not called a framelit anymore, it's called a die. <laughs> well, you guys, there's so much to, to shop in the catalog, so much. And um, you know the starter kit is $99, and then you get $125 of whatever you want in the starter kit. 
um, you get $125 and it's just going to cost you $99. There's no shipping. You actually get free shipping, which is typically 10%. So that saves you about $12. And then every order after that, you're saving 20%. So it's a pretty good deal if you see the new catalog in your wish list. Mine literally was three pages long. And, um, you know, I'm able to get my discount on all of the things that I want, which is nice. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check the link that I'm gonna add to the video when we're done. You can go and read about all the perks. There's no catch, don't worry. There's nothing weird or no requirements. Um, you know, that anything, nothing says you have to sell or make videos. You can just be a satisfied customer and use your discount. All right, you guys, there it is, that's it. No sentiment. Oh wait, we gotta add the little, what I have left, the Mossy Meadow Linen Thread that comes in the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. Lots of words, my goodness. I'm just gonna tie a bow and add it here with a glue dot. Let's try it again. Add it <laughs> with a glue dot. I don't have my tools to get that, so I'm using my nails. And there we have it. How cute. So cute. Here's that, that one. Let's see what other um, paper I use. There's that one and this one. Very pretty, very easy. You could use any of our papers. Even our six by six papers will make this cute little bag box. All right, okay, so just to review, don't go anywhere because I am gonna show you my bird ballad class too. Um, I have not shown you guys that and I would like to show you. So in review, host code right there between now and next Monday, anybody who uses that host code will get all four of these projects that we've done today. They will be delivered to your mailbox for free and you will have four projects to stamp. Um, make sure you use the host code and I will cut those. I will not cut them until Tuesday morning and they will go on, go out Wednesday. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the bird ballad suite. This is my bird ballad class to go. And I actually need to pull up my blog post so I can remember the details. So much going on. This class features the free as a bird stamp set, along with those framelits, where'd they go? Those framelits we used several times today. They come as a bundle. So almost every project uses these. And it features this beautiful designer series paper. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it, it's gorgeous. You're gonna get, um, I believe it's a sixth of a package as well. And you're gonna get a bolt of the lace and six projects, there's four options. Option one includes the bundle. And when you get option one, you're actually getting that bolt of lace for free. Option two is for those of you that already own the bundle. And that is $31, has everything else that you need. Both include a full step-by-step -step, um, PDF. And then option three is PDF only. The PDF is already over in my blog. And option four is for my downline. They get just the make and takes at cost shipped to them. Um, if you wanna register for this class, you have to email me for the link. I cannot list the link on social media per Stampin' Up! Rules, so you have to email me the link. There will be a link here on this video over to this class so you can get the details. The deadline to register for this class is June 17th. And I have an expected shipping date of June 25th. However, the lace is already on back order and is coming in the 25th. So that shipping date will be pushed back just a, a bit because I will have to wait for that lace to get here, unfortunately. But if you would like to get this um, with the six projects and the bundle and the free ribbon and all of that, just email me and ask for that registration link and I will send it to you. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. I am not going to say that I will be live again, but I might. <laughs> I do have one more project um, that I want to show you how to make, um, but who knows? The kids are about to burst through the doors and I'm not sure it'll get done. Maybe we'll do it on another day. Um, but if I do, it'll be a surprise. You guys, make sure you jump over to my blog. 
I've got, oh, I'm so glad you said that, Elizabeth. Thank you for sharing. I have a really good prize for this one. Uh-huh, yeah. I've got the Magnolia stamp set. Somebody who shares this video will win the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. So thank you. Make sure you share. And the other videos have prizes too. It starts with art and time for tags. So if you'd like to win, make sure you share the videos today. I will choose a winner for that probably at the end of the week. I won't wait until next uh, Facebook Live. Probably at the end of the week and I will post a picture, okay? Um, okay, that's it for now. You guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have any problems ordering or locating products. Um, I will be checking my email all evening. Thanks you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.